Hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome back to Runers. So, today we're going to be a Wisp Mystic with Droplet. I didn't exactly use all of the Mystic's abilities the last time we played, and I'd like to give it another shot. So, this time, uh, seeing as our last run was a heavy melee build, I'm actually going to try and go for a long range... Okay, I'm trying to remember how to... Ah, there we go. <laughs> it's actually been a couple of days since I played. I tend to batch record when I can. And, uh, well, I had recorded 18 and 19 pretty much in the same day. So, <laughs> you run 18 and 19, mind you. Not, you know, 18-1 and 18-2. No, I, I recorded pretty much six episodes in one day. So, uh, actually, it means I can usually wait out, you know, a couple of days before I need to record again. Which is both nice and, uh, potentially problematic from time to time. Okay. So, we've got a lot of hearts, which I'm happy about. We're full health ish, give or take, and we've got some skeletons to go after. I was trying to squash them earlier, but it was just being guarded. And I am missing these guys horribly. One of the reasons why I like Chaos Bolt so much is it pretty much always hits. Oh well, picked up a heart. Didn't really need, but uh, in the end, whatever. It saves me a little bit of grief, and realistically, not grief, just heart dodging that I didn't really need to do. Hopefully it's not going to impact things too much. So we are playing the, we are playing the Wisp. Which means our healing is going to be impacted a little bit. Nope, that's not it. That's stats. There we go. Map. Oh, I've gone the wrong way completely. I was thinking I could just keep going up. Turns out that's incorrect. So, ideally for this run, I would very much like to get it so I'm largely just using long range skills. And since I found out that I can use the controller to fire off four spells at once, yes, it's a little bit harder on my fingers, but at the same time, since I can, it would be really cool to do like a pure quad shot build along the way, because that, that could be incredibly powerful. I mean, I'm not entirely sure it's going to be like an end all be all type build, but the fact that you can fire off four spells reliably, whereas, you know, if you're using keyboard and mouse, you can really only fire off like one or two. I'm gonna have to pick up that heart too. Unfortunately, I do not have the adequate firepower for taking out large groups of enemies yet. Droplet is nice, but the problem is it shoots kind of slow, and if you miss, well, that's a fairly decent sec setback, which kind of sucks. Well, we got a pair of... I don't remember if Earth and Fire was any good. I think it was... Oh, it was like a Meteor, which I don't want to do, because the one real issue with the... Uh-oh. Rat Nest. Uh, the one real issue with um, the controller style of play is you and you end up actually running into oh hello we've got some entry piece so we might have to actually be able to do some interesting things here we're getting a fair amount of runes trying to avoid picking up hearts though but uh we might actually be able to solve our attack problem things but anyway as i was saying the controller can't aim very well you you pretty much have to drag the stick along the path that you want like you where you want the uh the targeting reticle to go is not nearly as precise as keyboard and mouse because the thing with keyboard and mouse is you can move that mouse exactly where you want and ah this is a little bit on the scary side oh well didn't take too much damage and i'm trying to clear these guys out yeah but the the problem is my accuracy a little bit worse than it needs to be for taking out guys like these and i mean i guess i can just bait them using you know just cheap tactics okay we get a double combiner don't really need it though and I'm probably going to go into the previous room and build some spells. I don't know, maybe the next room. Whatever, I'll just immediately build spells, even though we're already uh, technically in combat. So let's get our mouse active. The one problem with having a controller is the the mouse cursor disappears after a while. So we can do Mini Meteor, Burning Heart, Variant Burn, Stone, Compaction, Shifting Sands, Creation Shot, Brittle Boulder. Hmm. Most of these aren't very good. I might actually just end up going for Chaos Bolt. So, yeah, let's just, let's just do it. I know I overuse the spell excessively, but at the same time, uh, as far as, like, starting spells go, there are not much better. Uh, the Mind one is actually pretty good. But, honestly, between Droplet and Chaos Bolt, we're pretty much going to be able to just take out everything, no problem. Yeah, because this way I don't have to worry about being completely accurate, and I can just focus on hitting enemies over and over and over again. It works, and I like it. Nope. Oh, well, picked up a heart. Probably didn't need to. Oh, well, not the end of the world. So let's 
Bust up these boxes. I guess I don't need to avoid picking up the heart, but it's still probably a good habit to maintain, or at least, you know, thing to keep in the back of mind at all times, because honestly, I like the idea of the mystic, but the fact that the magnetism... I don't know, the magnetism is obnoxious. Hey! <laughs> we could actually go with uh, Flame Devil right off the bat. That would be interesting, but I don't think I'm going to do it. I'm going to try and avoid using entropy-based spells this entire time. Ideally, I'd like to get Dark Wind again. If I can get double Dark Wind, that'd be a, that would be a really effective thing. The other thing is, uh, somebody suggested a type of Nova spell called... Um, I actually don't know what it's called, but it's Fire Dark Earth. And, you know, sorry if you did actually suggest it to me and I don't remember your name. I, unfortunately, I don't have a list of things. And a fair amount of people comment on my runers at this point, but... Uh, I can call you out in the comments, I don't know. But uh, Dark Fire Earth is one of the ones that I would like to try it shortly. The other ones are Fire Entropy Dark, Fire Speed Dark, uh, Fire Mind Water, Double Water Shock, and Air, Mind, and Speed. Uh, those are all requests that have been made. I'd like to get through them as soon as possible. So ideally, if we can make it far enough, I'd very much like to... Oh shoot, the Double Combiner is being protected by heart. Let's see if I can... Grab it, and I managed to dodge the Speed Mage's spell. Suck it. Overall, oh, I guess I used the Mystic ability. Didn't really need to. Whatever, doesn't matter that much. Let's just keep busting our way through things. Yeah, I'm getting hit here and there. Uh, unfortunately, having to dodge hearts is a consistent thing. Is actually, I, I'm not going to say incredibly damaging, but it does actually damage our ability to uh, dodge enemies. And it seems a little bit unnecessary to me, but at the same time, I'd rather get hit once or twice by an enemy, probably, than uh, use a heart that I don't need to. Especially for, like, a little bit of damage. I, I guess one of the... I, I guess it's just, I wish hearts weren't magnetized to you. I wish everything else was. Okay, 10% for 10%, or increase rune drop chance. Ooh, let's do that. Especially as the Mystic... Uh, not the Mystic, the, uh, the Wisp. Because more runes, especially with all the boosts that we've got going on for us, it's pretty damn powerful. So, ideally... We'll just be able to have max maximum level spells across the board and do well with it. Now, as far as traits that I want, realistically, the main thing that I would like is um, the kill enemies for health and the 10% life for cooldown reduction. Between the because between the two of those, it pretty much just guarantees. Maybe it doesn't guarantee a run. I mean, realistically, I could play at the worst I've ever played before. Uh, looks like stasis, which, I mean, reduces my overall rune levels, but oh, it only seems to reduce certain ones. Water and mine, so our droplet is impacted, but everything else is not. So we got that going for us, which is nice. Now, one of the other runs that I'm probably going to do fairly soon is not an all mind rune run, but I'd like to get mind spike and then the, the spell that the floating brain is using, which is... Double Mind Rune? Okay, um, hmm. Bolt Speed, Max HP, or Damage? I'm gonna go with Damage. Damage always seems to be pretty viable, because, uh, anyway, as far as the Mind Rune build goes, this way I could, uh, have crazy amounts of Strike Through, and that could be potentially really helpful. Now let's get back around, go find that one extra room that we haven't been through, and probably that's gonna be the end of it, unless, watch there be, like, four more rooms after this one. Nope, never mind. Well... Not terribly surprised by that. Let's just boost that up. I actually have no idea which spell got boosted by the Mystic ability. Now, realistically, I'm not entirely sure if... Eh, no, actually. Going Mystic is going to be decent here. Because, especially once we clear the second or third boss, we're still going to be able to um, have, you know, A and B spell buttons. Which is going to be more than enough for a lot of things. Half of mine to actually get Shock Entropy, but considering I was using it last run, seems a little bit silly to do it again, so... Um... Hmm... Honestly, none of these are particularly good. Kinda wish there was another one. Oh well, let's just do armor piercing. It's not very good, but uh, I guess that could potentially help out against bosses, specifically. Okay, so we're full health, and we can head for the, head for the door. Spell-wise, we've got speed, mind, entropy, earth, fire air. No dark, though. I was kind of hoping for some dark runes, because that would let us get, um, it would let us get the dark wind, I believe. I think, I think I've got the runes for it otherwise, so if I can get some dark runes, we'll be in a good spot. 
because if I could get double Dark Wind, that would make uh, things pretty exciting. So I'd like to get the d double Combiner, I'd like to get the damage, I'd like to get the movement speed. Where were these bonuses previously? Let's go for the cooldown reduction, because, I mean, realistically, 4% isn't that much. Stack it all together, oh, it's pretty substantial. So, let's just bust our way through things. So, uh, I, I probably should have planned out my abilities a bit better. If I could get some shock runes, I know there's... I thought I had a shock rune er, earlier that I picked up. Guess I d didn't, or I missed it. I don't know. But uh, there's one really, really good long-range shock spell that I'd very much like to get my hands on. Also, there's a thief down there that I'd very much like to murder before he manages to steal anything any of these rats drops. Looks like it's mostly hearts, but... Uh, hmm. I, I am actually half tempted to, in the future, not go with Droplet and go with Mind Spike instead. I am actually, I am, I'd almost say I'm completely certain that Mind Spike is the better spell. Yes, Droplet does have the uh, AOE effect to it, which is nice, but at the same time, Mind Spike just goes through every enemy. I think it does more damage, and it does shoot faster. Uh-oh, we got a Hell Portal. Oh, that's going to make this complicated. We do not have the firepower to deal with everything. Oh, by the way, this is regular difficulty. So it's e so if it seems like I'm doing a little bit worse, it's because I've actually been playing on Wimpy for a while. And largely that's just because I wanted to see, you know, how far I could, or like if I could actually beat the game on Wimpy. And I did. So now it's uh, time to play on regular mode. And realistically, they're not that much different. It really just looks like the enemies have more health, which is not going to be an issue once I have better spells. But as it stands... My current spell lineup is a little bit on the weak side of things. Now, oh, right, watch out for the sandstorms. So, we've got a fair amount of stuff. Can I make can I make anything interesting? Rune decks, creatable spells. What do we got for the triples? We've got blowout. Nope. Force pulse. Nope. Scarlet Salvo. Yeah. Brittle Boulder. Phoenix Rain. Oh, this one. The uh explodey stuff. So thus far, I would say we really don't. Remnants is kind of a fun spell. It would be kind of interesting to use, but it's got a very long cooldown, so I'm not entirely sure if it's worth it or not, especially using some fairly valuable runes for it. So I'm just I'm just going to keep toughing it out until we can get some, ooh, some cooler combos. This is very tight for what I'd like to deal with. Jeez, this is, this is rough. Oh, well, uh, if we can take out the... I guess the Burrower Scouts are always the ones that die last, unfortunately. I was going to say, if I could take them out, then at the very least we'd be able to take out the Sandstorm. Okay, well, at the very least, since we've, you know... I am not hitting these guys effectively. <laughs> I'm not exactly the best at aiming with stick. Uh, control sticks. Uh, joysticks, I don't know, whatever. Okay. I was hoping for more heart traps. Realistically, I would love to get uh, the traits that boost our healing, because... If anything, that was what made the run last time, because we were able to heal ourselves during the boss fight, but we are also able to, I don't know, we just were hale and hearty the entire run. Whereas I could see, uh, I mean, I guess pretty much any Mystic run runs the risk of you just slowly running out of health and not having much to do about it apart from playing better. And, you know, after a certain point, you know, damage is ine inevitable. And if you're just, if you're doing it wrong, well, there's not much else about it you, you can do. So, what's the plus one zombie going to have for us? Double combiner. Hey, that's nice. Because that means we can make a triple, potentially. Now, I think I have enough. No. I'm trying to see. I think I have air mine speed. So I could make the air mine speed spell as soon as we get the triple. And really, we just need one more double combiner, which probably means one more plus one enemy to take him on. But if, if I could get some nice triples up in here, we'd be in a really good spot. I'm... <sighs> I know we did a Nova run, what, two runs ago, but I'm I'm not exactly opposed to doing a Nova run. I think with that light rune, we could potentially do it. And it'd probably just be kind of like a holdover until we can actually do a... We can get some better spells. Wow, that's a lot of health. Ideally, I only pick up one. Get the dark rune. I think we're full health, but I'm not entirely sure. I want to risk it. Let's get the speed rune. Yeah. And this way, even even if we could be healed a little bit more, uh, well, it's not wasted. Oh, hello. That's a lot of scary stuff. So after this, I'm going to have to go out of my way to uh, kill that bandit. 
Where is your face? Just death. Death. There we go. Beautiful. Yeah, he, he had a health rune on him, so at the very least, the small amount of damage we took uh, can be healed away for, you know, that level of risk just to get through. And, oh, I'm getting stuck on stumps and stuff. I always, I always kind of hate that a little bit. Oh, uh, well, I'm trying to wail on the hell portal more than anything else. I could probably just pick up that water rune. It doesn't matter that much. Did get hit by the speed mage immediately after, so I probably could have been a bit more patient than that. Oh, well. Let's just bust our way through things. Okay. Now, I'm going to have to make some some spells. There is no way around it. Creatable spells. What do we got along here? We've got Lights Nova. Tempting. Hex Blast. Not so much. Can make Supernova. Mm, I think I'd rather have Lights Nova. Particle Spray is nice, but the problem is it just doesn't... It doesn't... Um, well, the damage doesn't go up ever, which is a serious problem. Shock Array. Oh, it's that one. See, Shadow Bloom. Yeah, not bad. White Lightning is good, but I use it too much. Uh, Nacris's Clouds. Oh, it's that one to bounce things around. But I believe that affects me too, which I don't exactly appreciate. Wild Spirit, not so great. Remnants, Absorb. Black Wind. Oh, we can make Black Wind. And I believe I can actually make both Black Wind and Lights Nova. Hmm. It was Water, right? Yeah, Black Wind. Let's pop there. And then Light's Nova is fire, air, there. Okay, and I'm going to get rid of Droplet, probably. I'll put that there. And this way, at the very least, I can probably do some quad shot stuff with this. And if I can get another dark and another water, I can get double black wind, which could be pretty exciting. So let's wait for the spells to come back a little bit and let's go quad shot build. Oh, well, oh, I got supernova instead. Whoops, I made a mistake doesn't matter that much. I guess I'm going with Droplet and eh, not the end of the world. Okay, so what do we got in here? Uh, is this escort mission? Escort. So I'm actually going to wait for 20 more seconds ish, give or take, because I'd very much like to be able to supernova that hell portal right off the bat, because if I can do that, well, everything dies then, because if I could hit this entire group and the hell portal, take it out with a nice supernova blast, oh, that's going to put us in a nice spot. Okay, probably good enough. Boom! Oh, well, okay, so we didn't actually manage to take out the whole portal, but we pretty much managed to take everything out. So we got that going for us, and I'm just going to make sure that I'm constantly using Black Wind, because it's got a fairly short cooldown and does a lot of damage. So, overall, would like to get a second bland Black Wind. It'd be kind of cool if I could actually get four of them, but that would be pretty nuts. Um... Oh, hell no, I do not want Entropic Body. That was not fun the last time I did it. So I could increase my rune levels, or maximum rune levels. Or I'm going to do this just in case I get hit really hard. And Bullet Size, which I believe will help Black Wind out. Because if I can get those bullets massive, all well, it's going to do a fair amount of nonsense to enemies. So, realistically... Okay, it, it looks like Chaos Bolt is still firing normally, so, yeah. We pretty much have this in the bag. Okay, it's a shrine. I hate the Shrines of Destiny. They're jerks. Okay, oh, there's a rat nest. I need to worry about that more than anything else, probably, give or take. Unfortunately, the Shrine of Destiny keeps summoning stuff, but if, if uh, that rat's nest just hangs out, it's going to put us into a harder position. Okay, there we go, and... Wow, yeah. Black Wind. Pretty nuts. I like it. Oh, no, it's still alive. It just moved. The jerk moved. That's not appreciated. Let's see if I can summon Black Wind from the other direction. I think I did? I'm not entirely sure. Okay, he seems to teleport every once in a while. Jeez, okay. Supernova. Wow, that does not do a lot of damage. Uh, that puts us in some difficult positions here, because he keeps summoning dudes. Wow, I am not prepared for this level of danger. And, I mean, realistically, every time he teleports, at the very least, it uh, give, gets rid of all of his minions, but at the same time, this hurts. At least we have a lot of spells, uh, not a lot of spells, we have a lot of health runes sitting around. So we got that going for us. Shrine of Destiny seems to be healing? No, never mind. That's false. Let's get over here, squish the skeleton. Mystic Nova, beautiful. So that hurt a little bit, and my fingers already hurt from gripping the controller a little bit too hard. 
Oh, well, probably don't need to, especially with Supernova. But, oh, right. I should be using my Chaos Bolt, too. Realistically, that was not nearly as bad as I made it out to be. But at the same time, it was scary for at least a little while. Note to self, don't get hit by the golems. They hurt a lot. Hoip! Avoid that. Avoid- Oh, 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 oh. I am trapped. I'm trapped, and it's bad. I'd like to take out the skeletons, too. Get some runes. There we go. Realistically, this room... Things did not go well for us. We really do need stronger basic spells, because... The, the problem is, as we're standing, we're using a bunch of, you know, really weak stuff, and enemies have a lot more health on regular mode, which means problems for us. So Gravity Collapse, Banshee Whale, hmm. uh, Arcane Mastery, or Tinkerer. No, we don't want Tinkerer. I'm going to do that one. That could be potentially useful along the way, I don't know. But I think we'll be able to make it through this floor without taking too much more damage, give or take. And... Oh, right, I should be using Chaos Bolt here. Mystic Nova. Okay, Mystic Nova works very well. I, I think we're definitely going to want to possibly get Lights Nova if I can possibly get it. And, oh, that's nice at the very least. Looks like there are a lot of, there are a lot of hearts following us around. Did we take out? Yep, we did. So we, we took out the Hell Portal. So at the very least, the most threatening thing has been removed from the situation. It's just a matter of ticking out the last couple. There we go. Skeletons are dead. And everything else. So, yeah, there's one more heart up to the right. I can pick it up. And, yeah. Assuming there's, like, one more, two more rooms, we'll be able to get out of this floor full health. And that'll be nice. Mystic Nova. There we go. I don't know why I like saying it out loud. It just feels like one of those, like, super special attacks. And I was a DBZ fan as a kid. Don't judge. So we get another shock rune, which... I don't actually... Did I? No, I, ha I haven't used any of my shock runes, which... Oh, that might actually let us get the other shock spell that I was looking for. The really long-range one that does a fair amount of damage. Which is good. I should probably use Dark Wind. I don't know why I'm not just holding it down as a general thing. Because it's powerful enough. Oh, right. I can't hold it down. I actually have to, like, press it and stuff. Oh, well, it doesn't matter that much. Because I can pretty much use it whenever. Oh, interesting. And it actually goes through obstacles. Well, that makes me happy. Because, yep, there we go. That solved 90% of our problems right off the bat. And I didn't even need to use Darkwind a second time there, but it doesn't matter that much. Okay, and conveniently, there's uh, health on the way to the staircase. Yeah, we were actually in far less danger than I thought we were, were there. It was just that one room that got scary. Okay, so, uh, entropy levels, light rune, dark rune. Uh, let's go with random. Gives us entropy levels. Eh. Okay. So, let's see what spells we got. I think I can make it, but I don't know. Creatable spells, shock. I could make striker. Ah, there it is. I believe it's striker. It does not actually do that much damage, interestingly enough. Uh, it probably has fairly high damage scaling, though. So, let's go back and shock, shock, air. Striker, and let's replace droplet with it, I think. Because the... Th thing with striker is if I can yeah yeah I think it's got good damage scaling so we got that going for us when, whenever it's done it also fires fairly fast and you can reduce its cooldown as you go but if you notice very long range and actually does more damage than I'm giving it credit for give or take well let's actually bust things these things up instead of just ogling them unfortunately the uh, time before dark wind can actually come or before dark wind actually shows up is a little bit longer. Ooh, we get another shock rune, so I can actually use that to uh, buff up the damage of the spell. So ideally, I'd like to use the long range lightning spell we've got. Probably Lights Nova. Oh, we've already found the boss fight. Hmm. Let's just blast those guys. I'm trying to avoid taking a whole lot of damage here. But yeah, if I can buff up the lightning spell, get my hands on Lights Nova, and between Dark Wind and Supernova, we should be in a very good position. I'm probably also just going to go fight the boss right now, because we're full health, which is going to put us in a better position than pretty much any other that I can imagine. I mean, yes, we could probably gain a couple of levels between now and the boss room, and we've got enough speed runes if it is Bla Blazia. Droploid? I don't think I've ever seen this boss before. So, I'm going to keep my distance. Looks like he summons 
he summons little dudes, he leaves slowing zones, but apart from that, oh wait, no, he, does he bust up into, oh no, he, yep, okay, there are two of them, so he actually busts up into two different parts, which is actually a little bit scary, kind of depending, no, it's based on phases, well, we do more than enough damage, so we're actually probably okay, oh jeez, okay, so what I'm going to do is actually do something really gutsy, that was a terrible idea, Okay, well, I'll just hang out over here. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Oh, we somehow killed him. Not entirely sure what was going on there. I was just kind of firing off into the void and hoping for the best. Next time, don't run in with a supernova. Actually a bad idea. Okay, so let's go with uh, Quick Learner. Because between that and the extra rune drop chance, probably puts us in a good position. I don't know what that ring is, but whatever. And we got a triple combiner, so uh, what can I make that I have? Can't do air mine speed anymore. Uh, can't do water water shock, fire entropy dark. Nope, can't actually make any of the prescribed stuff. Hmm, entropy speed dark. Yep, okay, well, I guess we're just on our own for a bit. I don't, oh shoot, we got a pair of triple combiners. I'm leery about running around with too many of these, so let's try shock. Oh, hmm. No, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put the shock into this one because the damage boost is necessary. So let's do water entropy earth. Find out what it is. Tranquil twigs. Oh. Well, that's interesting. Okay, so I'm gonna put it there, and that might actually work well with the shield build. Cool. And we got some healing runes over on the side, but I'm gonna hold on to that. Let's get some trank. Oh, escort mission. Uh, Mystic Nova. There we go. Well, that did not actually work as well as I was hoping, but in the end, it doesn't matter that much. Now, we've got this. Oh, right. I can use tranquil t twigs. Oh. Interesting. That is a weird spell. Whatever. We managed to win. I'm not entirely sure how the. Tranquil Twigs works, but I can fire it too. Yeah, that's definitely going to be interesting from a from a uh, a shield build. You know, another double devil build. Because I, I could see that being really... Uh oh. Oh, crap. There we go. Uh, I was waiting for Nova and it, it came really late. Oh, well, it doesn't matter that much. So we could do more runes and that's what I'm going to deal with. Because we still have we still have a triple and I Oh. Oh. Oh, that's cool. So, is what I'm seeing here that Tranquil Twigs will just randomly generate them? I have no idea how that spell works, actually. I'll figure it out someday, but it actually seems pretty damn viable in all cases. Great for a shield build if I can figure out exactly how it works, but also great for really any other build. Nice. Okay, so we've got a lot of extra rune drops. We've got the dark runes. I might actually be able to do... Aha! Uh, another Nova. Fire. There we go. It was Fire Dark Earth, right? I hope so. What's this? Weakened Soul. Oh. Uh, I don't think that's the one we were thinking of. Interesting debuff, though. Whatever. I'm just going to get rid of Droplet. I'm not even using it anyway. So, realistically, that did actually make it so I can't make Lights Nova, I think? I don't know. It doesn't matter that much. I Realistically, we're... I mean, we're having a little bit of trouble here, but at the same time... Let's use that. Nuke everything. Wow, everything died. I, I guess when you use a maximum upgraded Nova, it kills everything. I'm pretty okay with this. So... I'm trying to decide, is it worth it? Uh, it would definitely be worth it to get uh, use some of the ultimates. Okay, I'm going to use this for a second. I want to see how this works. Okay, so I guess you just have to activate the shield once, and then it will create four of them and fire. And then I have to cast it again, and it starts the process all over. Or I could fire it voluntarily when I feel like it. That actually works pretty effectively in an interesting manner. I like that. It, it makes things unique. Ah, it, the problem with my controller is it has a predisposition for just going straight sideways and sometimes. I don't need straight sideways. Oh, well, it doesn't matter that much. Let's do another Mystic Nova. And wow, that, that is hella effective. I'm glad I got that spell. 
So, realistically, we've got kind of some weird oddities from here, here and there. I'm kind of hoping that the twigs will actually block shots, too. But, actually, almost... I don't want to make a build based off of it. Or do I? That would be really hard. But if I could actually get... Oh, nope, can't do a Mystic Nova. Well, whatever. That's... Can I Nova now? Nope, not yet. There we go, now I can Mystic Nova. Uh, ow. I guess getting surrounded by the Necromancer and all of his minions kind of makes things painful. Oh, well, that's some of this. But if I learn how to use the twigs properly, it could actually be a really effective build. Because you could have a, essentially a roving thing of twigs that just kind of wreck their way through all the enemies. I don't know. It'd definitely be interesting. Uh, unfortunately, probably have to have enough runes for it. Hmm. Just interesting to think about, though. Ow. Okay, well, whatever. We're almost full health. And we're doing alright. We're... I mean, realistically, I think we'll be fine... Well, we're definitely going to be fine through level 4. I'm not expecting to see the boss here. I, I haven't really perfected this build, and honestly, this is mostly a rune-hunting build. Our inventory's full anyway. Ooh. We got some stuff. What can I create? Uh... Stupid rune decks. Stupid just the controller messing with my mouse. Okay, let's just do this regularly. Yeah, because the thing is, uh, the moment you start, you even like touch your controller, it's like, oh, you don't want to have access to this anymore. It's like, no, I do. So I could do a second supernova. It's tempting. Um, But at the same time, I don't really need to. Let's only go with discover because I don't have any triple combiners. Uh, so what do we got down here? So I can make more uh i could do more wild saplings hilariously oh, wait no that's a different sapling thing which is interesting but not really useful uh brittle boulder scarlet salvo dark calling it's dark calling oh that one hmm shock array oh it's that one i can't oh i can't actually make light nova lights nova I can make supernova oh i can it's earth shock air Okay, so I'm, I'm going to do that Earth Shock Air. I got that completely wrong. Uh, wait, Earth Air Shock? No, Earth, Earth Shock Light. There we go. Okay, we got Lights Nova. Put that there. Goodbye, Chaos Bolt. Don't really need you. We can Soul's kind of interesting, but I don't really want it. But this way, this gives us some amount of uh, situational shielding around us. And it gives us a fair amount of nukes. I'm probably going to get rid of... Tranquil twigs along the way, maybe? It's interesting. I'm not I'm not sure how I want to work with it. Oh wait. If I put entropy runes into it, does it decrease decrease the speed at which they spawn? Oh. Ooh, that that's interesting. Okay, well, I'm also going to put a bunch of dark runes into black wind. At this point we might as well start buffing stuff. And fire runes into supernova. Do I have any air base spells? Ah, here we go. I can, I can I can actually buff my spells up semi-substantially, and we'll keep going. So next up, we're going to want, uh, when we get the next double combiner, ideally I'd like to aim for um, air mine speed. We've got a lot of speed runes. Really, any uh, entropy speed dark would also be tempting, but considering a lot of those are tempted, or not tempted, a lot of those are already kind of taken, it's a little bit less nice. The other thing is I could go with mindlessness, and I like the idea of mindlessness because my entire build does not use uh, mind runes, and um, well, just in general, mindlessness is a ridiculously powerful spell, especially for uh, a build based on boosting and stuff like that. So, we can get another double combiner, mind rune speed levels, crit damage. I'm gonna go with the double combiner. That gives us a triple, and we could potentially make something interesting. So, here's the point where I say goodbye, because we're on to floor 4, and that means we're on to the second set of, uh, the second episode. So, I'll see you guys, uh, I guess immediately after, because I'm going to be releasing these probably back to back. I'm, I honestly don't know how I'm releasing these episodes, so I'm just going to keep experimenting and see what you guys like. But it seems like you watch them anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Anyway, I'm rambling. I'll see you guys on the next episode of Runers, and we're going to continue this run.